Hey what's up everyone, how are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 33 of a Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. Now before I start, I just want to send a little bit of love out to the Gallus channel. They've recently chucked me a little bit of love for my series here of Mechanicus and I just want to send the love back out. So anyone that's watching, go check out the Gallus channel. And if anyone else is enjoying this series, please chuck us a DM or, or leave a comment. It, it really helps to um, keep us fired up to know that someone enjoying the content we're, we're making and appreciating all the hard work. Um, so enough of a waffle, let's get into it. We've got nearly 1500 blackstone here. So let's see what we can get for our guys. Now I'm pretty sure one of these chaps is lacking on the physical armor. So I want to get him... There we go. Oriochus here, he's only got the energy armor, so I really want to get him something with a little bit of physical armor. So let's see what we got here. Oh, there we go. 2 HP, 1 physical. 3 HP, 1 physical. So let's see what our current hood and chest piece are giving us. It's got 3 HP and 1 energy. 2 HP and 1 energy. So I think I'll, um, I'll sack off that hood. And I think I'll get the other hood. Just to give us a little bit of physical armor as well. I think it looks like our health is going to be on about 6, but it was. Yeah, it was on 20. So that's him okay. He does have an extra augment slot now. So let's see what we can give him. Oh, we got a better cog stick now, haven't we? Yeah. So let's put that on. So let's see who else we can upgrade. So Tauf here has only got a physical. He's got both. Minaris has only got a physical. Okay, so I'm going to give Tauf some energy armor, hopefully. Possibly. In fact, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, so we've got all the Xenorite stuff here. Let's have a look. So we've got our opportunity attack. This is something we've been working for with him. We can't afford any more, so we're just going to have to wait till next time for that. Let's do the same upgrade though, I think, and give him the better cognition stick. Okay, so 25. we got to stick with that for next time. So what we got today? So this one we've been looking at for the additional slot for mission deployment. Pretty sure we got... There we go. We've got one here that increases our cog gauge even more. Yeah, I think we're going to do this one. Get our cog gauge increased a little bit more. Then we can start thinking about equipping some of the better weapons um, that cost a little bit more cognition to use. We we'll also get a level 3 Rust Stalker, which is pretty cool. So we've got Canoptic Spiders, Vargard, Immortal, Destroyer, Flayed One. No, Lich Guards, brilliant. We're going to the Ubjow sector. Subdomia Kepra has an idea to cut off the supply of biological material to the Flayed Ones in the Tomb of Ubjow. Due to their desires for flesh, this might cripple the flayed one's ability to function properly. Also, Kepra hopes. Yeah. Kick some flayed butt. Who else should we go for? Let's take him in again. Flesh and skin. Yeah. Burn it all. Okay, deployment number 33. You got one diamond here, one diamond here, and one over here. With an optional encounter, kind of in the middle. So it's going to be a clear cut straight up and round. And when we get to this one, we can decide whether we need to do the optional encounter or whether we can just push through. So I'll wait until we get there and see the situation around. 
A heap of gory bones lie scattered around this chamber. They look like they have been very recently denuded of their flesh and skin. The sight is horrific, but suggests the flesh repository is nearby. Salvage. Sift through the bones for anything that might be of use. Search. Whatever did this might still be nearby. Search the nearby tomb for enemies. Or sanctify. Pray for the dead, whoever they were. I don't think praying is going to help us much here. Salvage could be interesting. We could get some bonus blackstone. Maybe some new parts. I like the idea of searching though, I think. Might be some booby traps. Sorry, booby twaps. Gotta get that pronunciation right. A nest of flayed ones is indeed lurking in a side chamber, clothing themselves in the red, raw meat of the bodies they have just dismembered. Caught at a vulnerable moment, they flee, enabling the cohort to move on towards the objective without the flayed one pack shadowing them. Got awakening reduced by four, which would have been nice a couple of turns later, but ho hum. Could have been something bad, so can't knock it. enemies gladly. Let's have a little look. Do you reckon we've got any more? Might be a platform come up here. I'm not sure is that rocky outcrop looks like it might be blocking it. Can have a platform come up here? This just seems a little bit too good to be true. Uh, so we've got a flayed one here. Flayed one, flayed one, flayed one and one immortal. No glowy doors. There's got to be some platforms come up somewhere. Go get them all in a nice little orderly line. Seven. Oh, he's got a bit of health on him. Um, let's give him another shot. This played one is a little bit tougher as we go on here. Now we're going to plonk him here. And we're going to stick bubble on. I'm not really worried about these flayed ones. We'll probably absorb most of the damage from them. But that warrior over there, I think it's a warrior mortal, whatever he is. He can deal some damage with that gun. All he's got to do is move to about here and he'll have us in line of sight. Right, let's see what his stats are actually. We can start pepping away at him in a bit. him off here with our axe. Let's see what we're doing. Five to seven, yeah. He's gone. Nobbles. Yeah. Can we still move? Yeah, we can still move. Let's push up, get this cognition. And we'll just stay behind the tunnel here so we've got a little bit of cover for when the bubble runs out. Get a power field generator on, get a little bit more physical damage. And we should cause a good bit of pain with these two, hopefully. There you go, we've got one. I'm hoping this next one I might be able to finish off Vyron Festus here. Go on, Neck and Dendroy. There we go. Has that one gone as well? Let's just poke back in here, so we're nice and safe. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I didn't realise we got a full cognition bar. Wow, that's good. Okay, then. Um, let's use this because it's free. We'll zap that one out of the way as well. Pop them back here. to stick about. Does that deal damage? That deals damage. There we go. And use that to get rid of the last flame one. Now, I still can't believe that this is the only unit that's going to be left. Oh, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We can still do some damage to this guy. I think we've still got one here that hasn't taken a turn as well. Get a bit of damage. And Sydney's got the uh, physical armor on. That's brilliant. I'm not even going to try and hide this guy. Just get fully out there. This can get us three points. Right, in fact, now let's just kill him, see if he disappears or not. No, there we go. Is that it? We're gonna have flayed ones climbing up the walls now. No, nope, that's it. Wow. That was really quite surprising. Haven't had a room that easy to clear since the first few missions. Okay. From the trail of gore and scraps of skin, it seems a large quantity of biological material was recently taken through the chamber ahead. This might be the start of a route that will take the cohort towards their goal more rapidly, but it could also mark a route of heavy enemy activity. Oh, I'm not really scared of heavy enemy activity. Let's have a look. Follow. Follow the trail. It is a rare chance to take advantage of the laxness of the enemy in covering their tracks. But maybe that's on purpose. A flame. Purify the chamber with flame and fire. Though the trail might be destroyed, this hideous place must be cleansed of its corruption. Or foray. Scout the area for lurking flayed ones. They made this trail, and they could be nearby. I would really quite like to do that one, but I don't like to turn down an opportunity to burn. The cohort scour the blood and gore from the walls and floor with Promethean fire. The trail is obliterated, but the tomb of Ubjow has been made a little less unholy by this act of righteous fury. We've got free cognition, which I don't think we needed, so we're pretty much full. But still, it's nice to get a positive result. Okay, on to the next room. And we're hardly on any awakening at all. We're going to nip into nearly one here. So it looks like we might be able to avoid doing that optional encounter. Oh, here we got big canoptic spiders. zone here. Is it just the one? There it is. Okay, so what we got? Immortal, Destroyer, Immortal, that's the spider, another Immortal. So, remember from the last episode, we got destroyed by a Destroyer, so we've got to make sure we gang up on him. We've got two glowy doors here, a few cognition terminals, or oh, we've got a big one there, and this is the map, room, tomb, whatever, that has Four scan terminals up the top there, so we really need to push some of our guys forward. I've got to make sure we don't block the path out here. Okay, that enables all I got. In fact, let's um, 
send a couple of guys this way. Up this route, I think. Just a couple. And who should we get in? Let's get Vanguard. Good old reliable. There we go, destroyer's already doing its thing. Oh, why are you doing that far damage? Hmm. Cool, with physical armor, so let's lay some energy damage into it. isn't going to do much damage but it's going to charge that axe up to hopefully um, knock his shield down and if you to turn his armour rather. This dude's already down to 12, that's not too bad, half his HP already. Okay, Jeremiah. Jeremiah here. Get our energy air enhancers on. I'm gonna fire a little pistol shot of this guy, see what stats are. Energy armor, okay. And then I'm gonna put my big gun into the destroyer. I don't really care what armor he's got. I wanna start nibbling a little bit. Because we got this guy trapped in the corner here, so he can't move or make any kind of opportunity attack. Which is great. So he's stuck there until we move. Right, let's have a little look, see what this guy is. Okay. Sorry, it's already down to 12 HP. Dominaris. Come some hell. Well, in fact, at the right angle here, can I get. Oh, I can get both of them. Oh yeah. He's definitely got those two and not my guy. Yep. Yeah, we don't really need to get our cognition back yet. Let's make this attack first. Now we've got the two slots. He's only on four. Possibly we might just nobble him when um when he goes to move away for an opportunity. Collect all cognition points now, don't need to do that yet. Um send this guy this way as well. energy damage in some before going into my lake and back. There you go, it's more like it's only on four now. So extra one will we'll get about extra one off of him when he goes to move away. So that's not gonna no, that's not gonna do anything. Oh troop unit buff though, we can do that. Give our vanguard a little bit of love. Let's get one of these cog points. We're doing pretty good for cognition so far this round. I'm gonna send this guy all the way up. Cause he's got the cog or so he's invisible to enemies until he makes an attack. So I should be able to sneak a lot of this black stone out here. So let's push up to this one as well.
Not only is he just getting a chill there and he can't be seen because he's next to that cog terminal. We'll pick a little bit more up when we need it. What have we got in here? Let's let's do that. Start revealing the stats in some of these guys so we know what we're working with. Now hopefully that's not going to reveal him because it's just an opportunity attack. Oh, it does reveal him. Pretty sure. When we went against Tech Priests that had the Cog or Quartaris, they didn't even reveal themselves when they did an opportunity. I don't think. I might be wrong. Purified with flames. <laughs> Your wish is my command, Vardex. Where's Minarius? Okay, so do I... Yeah, let's try and do a double whammy with this guy. I hope that we can get this warrior over here as well. Or is it an immortal? One of the two. That guy there. One that's now dead. Haha. <laughs> Brilliant. Wiggle him out the side a little bit. Doesn't make much difference. So we've only just clocked over into awakening level of one. So we're doing really good so far. It's him down. Um, I've got nothing. To oh, I can get past. I can get past. I don't really want to waste an attack on him. If I can help you, see. Especially as his axe is machine spiritual, I just want to get back to one of these guys up here, really. See, every time I'm using a cognition, this guy's picking up one out of here now. I guess I could have used the axe on an enemy, but it was kind of my intention, but we still got something good done there. I think it's safe to say we're going to be able to get out of this tomb without any kind of awakening level if we play our cards right. Uh, let's get him into melee combat then. Just to get an opportunity to attack on this guy, because he's got three of each armour on. It's going to be a little bit of a tough nut to crack there. Let's get our bubble up just because we can. We've got plenty of cognition. Use the stabby stick, get rid of him. of cognition, so let's get all the way up here. Right, let's get into a burning position. Quite tricky avoiding my guys and getting all of them, I think. Let's have a little look. No, there we go, that's a good angle right there. Yeah, that's getting four, three enemies and that terminal. And it's not clipping our guy. Although he is in the bubble, so he probably would have been alright anyway. But. It's not risky. Eh? Don't want to waste that on the terminal, it's only got one HP left. Oh, 
strip some of our armor off of this guy. Yeah, that's all his armor gone. Fantastic. Probably just wait there. Let's get his stats first. Hold on, let's get cognition first. Can't be hasty. Let's make a big push. Should we go for let's get here. Let's see what we're working with. I think we might be able to get rid of that. Uh, Warrior or Immortal, can't remember which one. Here we go, that might just do him. Machine Spirit. No, it's close though. So he's only on one now, I think. Yeah, it's not worth wasting an attack on him, so when he goes to move away, we get the opportunity on him. So let's deal with this spider. He's on the energy. Energy armor. So we can go in with our physical attack here. Rinse him up a bit. Fully healed, ready for the next room. There's our opportunity attack. He's gone. So we didn't get the opportunity to blow up that last terminal. But we don't really need it. We're doing great for the awakening. Definitely don't need to um, take on that optional encounter. Dozens of bloody handprints cover the walls of this chamber. Were they made by wounded Skitari? Or by the flayed ones with the severed hands of the corpses they have collected? And why? Perhaps the matter warrants further investigation. Perhaps it should be ignored entirely. Decipher. Clearly this is some cipher left by a quick-thinking Skitari. Upload picked grabs of the handprints to the caster's metallicum. Dismiss. Ignore the handprints. Or delve, examine the chamber. I think I'm going to go for examine the chamber. Dismiss is obviously a bit better. Decipher? Could be. Could be. I think I'd like to check it out before we go. Taking picked grabs and sending them off. The cohort find a message scrawled with a bloody fingertip among the handprints. Warning of the Necrons setting up a trap ahead. Whichever wounded Skitari wrote this spent his last moments passing on this warning to his fellow soldiers. An act of determined loyalty that inspires the cohort to similar ideas. What a trooper. Good lad. Or oh, lass. 66 Blackstone Arm. Cool. All goes towards the pot. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. We've got a nice green one. You like that? A happy green one? A container of some sort that seemingly has raw binary seeding within. Clearly it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the aged sealant used to contain the treasure within. We've got some HP on a guy that hadn't lost any HP. But again, if there wasn't anything bad, just can't really complain. Let's 
scan or destroy. Okay, so we've got one here, one scan terminal. And we've got another one over here. Looks like quite a few enemies. We've got a glowy door. Flayed one, immortal. Spider, flayed one, immortal. Flayed one, immortal. So we've got to try and remember, these guys are immortals. Now, are we possibly going to have any platforms? I don't think so. Possibly here. Yeah. Right, so we definitely need some of our guys to go this way to that terminal. So I think we'll keep those two going that way. Let's get those guys pushing this way. I think once again we'll drop our vanguard in. And I think we'll probably get other troop units in a bit later. So their movement's pretty pants. We'll wait until we're a bit close to the action. Get that cognition straight away, because why not? Go on, do six. Hey, result. Got a full cognition bar again. So let's push up. Here we go, and get some back off this guy anyway. Alright, we're in the last room now, so let's get some canticles on. Right, gonna get the bubble on. Just sit tight. In fact, uh, let's um, check out what the stats are on this guy. Oh yeah, four physical armor. Oof. Oh bugger! Pumping out armor. Is it pooping units? Yeah, it's pooping little scarabs. Still a little bit to the little scarabs there. There you go, scarabs gone. Get our cognition freedom on. We'll use the big gun against the rest of these four. Yeah, I'm gonna aim at this guy because the most damage is gonna go onto him. Could have that looked pretty successful. Yeah, let's push up and get into melee with this guy. Yeah, I'm not going to do much damage there, but it gets our axe machine spirit charged. Let's reveal stats in this for later on, because I know he took a good bit of damage. So these guys are going to go up this way, I think. If I get Manarius here, I think you should be able to get all of them. 
Let's have a look. Only one way to find out. Yeah, I can just about get them all. Brilliant. I'm going to do all sorts of chaos here, I think. Now, will that... Yes, it will, that attack that one as well. Okay, brilliant. Um, before I do that... Let's do... I don't know about my killing. Let's do this first. I want to make it cheaper though. Now clear that body. Do a good more bit of damage to these two. I did one damage to that one. Blimey. Cool, he's gone. I was going to stab him to get a cognition back, but we don't need to. I got enough back just from killing that one and here in a flayed one body. Okay, so let's push forward, get into melee combat with this guy, so at least we get an opportunity attack from him. Um, don't, we're not desperate for the cognition at the moment, but we will get a little bit, just as we can. Now our mission's actually the scan or destroy, isn't it? So I think with this guy's whopping movement, we're going to get him over to this terminal. He's already done a good bit of damage against that spider. Kind of hoping our vanguard might be able to finish him off. Oh, here we go. Here comes the flesh and skin. Uh, let's just sit there. Flayed ones. Oh, escape. Not had that one for a while. Let's get some cognition back first. don't need to kill him, but it'd be nice to. We've got the energy canticle on to deal a bit more damage. Whoa, that a whole load of damage. He's dead. Just it had the energy armor on still, you see, so I wanted to make sure we got some good damage on him. We most certainly did that. Let's use our free pistol shot whilst we're here. Can we buff the troop unit again? Can. All the buff. I'm not sure if Tau's even done anything. Send them in for blue here, see if we can get another kill out of this. This is one of them where we don't need any more kills, we just need to escape. But every kill we get is an extra bit of blackstone for the pile. Let's see, we're already on 11.24. So knock a few more of these enemies out and we should have a nice little healthy pile of them. We've got two turns so our awakening level goes up to one. So pretty comfy there still. Don't have any cognition freedom. Otherwise I'd be tempted to use that.
Okie doke, so let's see if we can zap that played one out boy. Down at last, but we can't get out this turn. It sucks a little bit. I think the terminal over where Minarius is still needs to be destroyed, so we should still be able to get out here with an awakening of zero. That's the plan, anyway. Healed up just a little bit. Oh, yeah, this tunnel here still needs to get blown up. Brilliant. Get the cognition from it first. Cool. So let's. Get back in here. Can't see that enemy from there. Too bad. Because he can't shoot us. Clear this blade one out. Just because. So that's four of them in there now. Troy played one. No cigar. May as well have a little chop at this guy for the retreat. But don't care about the opportunity attack. Um, let's move here first. We've got a chance to heal ourselves before we escape. All damage was absorbed anyway. Like all my guys are on full health, so it's a shimmy out. Mission complete. The cohort reaches a chamber, its floor covered with dozens of our missing Skatari. Most of the corpses missing what little skin they had left, with bones and chunks of flesh filling the rest of the chamber. 
The whole foul mass is drenched with Promethean fuel and satellite, obliterating this resource and putting it beyond reach of the flayed ones. Maximum immolation. Hey, I like seeing the zeros there. Brilliant. Love that cognition gauge increase. I wonder what a level 3 Rustle can do. We did good with the awakening there as well. Ended with a zero. So that's pretty fantastic. New new canticle here, Prayer of Blast Plasteel. Nine physical armor for one round. There we go, that's quite a cool one there, guys. Didn't take too long. Got everyone's butt kicked nice and quickly and efficiently. We've got a nice haul of blackstone. I like a nice big pile of that, so we should be able to get another couple of upgrades at the beginning of the next one. Our guys are starting to get pretty beefy now. Oh, the box is gone. We can have a look. Oh, we've got level 3 rust orca. So what out of that is different? I think it's that we gain one damage per attack. Yeah, so we already get the plus 5 crit chance of avoiding opportunity attacks. He's now also getting one extra damage per attack. That's pretty cool. I like it. What's our Vanguard guy got? Now we can see that. Oh, he got a bit of an extra, bit of extra movement and crit strike. Cool beans. So as you can see, we've nearly got a full cohort here. One more tech priest. And one more big trucker here. I think it's um, it's some kind of servitor on tank tracks. Can't remember what it's called now. So I've only got two more units to find. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I'm pretty sure soon some of our missions will start getting complete with these people and they won't be giving us any more. So we'll be starting to, start to get there now. I can't wait till our guys uh, upgrade a little bit more and bullets is going to bounce off us. But there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Leaving us some comments would be great. It's really nice to know what you guys are thinking of the series. Uh, stay tuned for the next one, I guess. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and take care.